Hello guys, Fred here from Pro Tennis Trader. I hope you're well. In this video, I'm going to introduce you to a strategy called Take the Money and Run. And this is an add-on strategy to other tennis trading strategies that you may be using to ensure that you capitalize on profit when there is money on the table and don't get greedy and end up losing it. So I'm not going to deliver a load of preamble to this video or strategy. Instead, we're going to jump straight in to my live trading match, which demonstrates this strategy in action. So the match I was trading was the Barty Kerber semi-final at Wimbledon on the 8th of July 2021. Now Barty was coming into this match as the favourite with a pre-match starting price of 1.44 and Kerber was the outsider at a price of 2.75. So what I was looking for in this game was for Barty to take the opening set giving us nice low landing prices in order to lay her in the second set and back Kerber with a view to a possible comeback from Kerber. So let's take a look first at the first set performance. We can see that Barty got off to a strong start with the early break on Kerber's first service game. Now this is not unusual in a semi-final in such a huge tournament such as Wimbledon, as even the top players can suffer from a few nerves and it can take a bit of time to get into the rhythm. Now after the break, Barty confirmed the break with a reasonably confident serving game, but by no means dominating Kerber like the pricing would suggest. Both players went on to hold the remainder of their service games with that early break giving Barty the opening set. Now Kerber's game visually improved as we reached the end of this first set, and she appeared to have upped her tempo somewhat, and if we take a look at the first set stats, we can see that there was not a great deal separating the two of them. In fact, Barty actually had three double faults but did of course have the better stats overall given the fact she won the set. Now with all this in mind, I was keen to lay Barty for one point and back Kerber for one point before Kerber served first in the second set. Now the reason I back and lay is due to the mechanical nature of my strategy and allows me to add and reduce liability in a clear mechanical way throughout the trading set. And because I use Fairbot, the trading software, I can also use the lay stake is liability function as well as the net button, which again means I don't have to waste any time calculating my stakes in a fast moving tennis match. So here we are from yesterday's live recording of the Barty Kerber match and Barty is just about to take the first set six games to three and remember there was just the one break on Kerber's first service game. Now, as you'll notice, as always, unfortunately with Bet365 and the other streaming services, the live stream is a bit slower than the score. So we can see Barty has taken the game there, but it's just a bit slow to show it on the live stream. But that's not a problem. We always keep an eye on the score. So if we head over to Fairbot, you can see we've got good prices here. So I tried to get in at the price of 1.17 on Barty to put a one point lay stake, which is 250 pounds, at 1.17. And as I said earlier, the plan was to place a corresponding back trade of a one point stake, which for me in this match is 250 pounds at the price of 6.6. .6. Now the prices were darting around a little bit. I did try and get in at better prices, but these weren't being matched. So I just had to take one or two ticks uh, higher and lower on the lay and back sides, but it's not a problem it's not really going to affect the profit throughout the duration of the match. So as you can see, with a little bit of tinkering or a little bit of altering of the, the prices, we're fully matched. I mean, there's no problem with liquidity here. I was literally just trying to get in at slightly better prices. The total match on this match uh, currently was 1.7 million, so more than enough liquidity. So I've just jumped a little bit further forward into this first service game uh, with Kerber serving, and you can see she's kept up the tempo that she built up in the end of that first set. So she's gone 30 love up. And she's actually looking to be performing quite well. So already you can see the profit is into £51 profit. Not huge price movements. Um, I mean, Kerr Barty's price has only gone up to 1.23. So obviously that's just saying, it's indicating the confidence in Barty in the market. 
So we've just reached 3015. So again, the profit will just drop off a bit there. But no worries at the moment. I mean, Kerber is looking confident in this service game. And we can see from the score, it has gone to 4015. But once again, with the live stream, it is a little bit slow. So we're back up to almost 50 pounds profit. But still, the price is only at 1.22. It's just gone up to 1.23. But again, not huge profit. And Kerber's price has only gone down to 5.3. Now, normally in WTA matches, just the one service game uh, from the first set loser, you will see bigger prices than this. But given Barty's starting price and the fact she is the firm favourite, it just means that the market has a lot more confidence in Barty. Having said that, in my opinion, Kerber is looking strong and it is still worth backing Kerber in this match. And as you can see on the scoreline there, Kerber has just taken that first game of the second set. So I'm going to hit the net button, which gives me £250 stake. And this is to close off the lay side. So I just hit back at 1.23, and this locks in that profit on that lay side. And what I do on the back side is lay off £125, which is a half point stake. Now the reason to do this is to lock in profit, but also leave some money in the market in case we get a break so that money can then ride that swing. Now we've just rejoined the match at 30.40 with a break point to Kerber. Now Kerber is just that one game up she just held. Now Barty is about to be broken by Kerber, which is an early break in the second set. Again, the live streaming is gonna be slow, so we're gonna see the scoreline come in before we see it on the live stream. So there we go. Kerber has taken the game, so it's gone two games up in this second set. So you can see on the profit, we've got £170 profit there. Now what I'm going to do here, because it is an early break and because it hasn't been great prices, I'm going to back another £250 at the price of 3.25. Now you will notice that as I place that £250 stake at the price of 3.25, the price jumps up to 3.35, but by default, you will be matched at the better price. So no need to worry about that. So we rejoined the match on Kerber's second service game in the second set. And you can see she's 40 love up and is about to confirm the break. Now we got that 250 pound extra stake in at 3.35. Currently the price is at 2.96. So again, not huge price movement, but by putting in a little bit more money in the market has increased our profit. So we just wait for her to hold this service game. So she's done that. Now the price, uh, the, the profit, sorry, is 250 pounds. Kerber's price has dropped down to 2.88. It's just jumped back up to 2.92. They are jumping around quite a bit. But again, this just shows the confidence that the market has in Barty because we're not getting these big price movements. So we've rejoined the match at 3-1, and it's Kerber's third service game. And as you can see, Kerber is struggling a little bit here. She's dropped down to 15-40. Now, Barty held quite comfortably in the last service game. So you can see things may be turning around a little bit here. Again, if we just jump ahead, because it's not worth watching all of the points played, you'll see that Kerber did make a comeback here. She came back from 15.40, went to juice, went advantage, and she's taken that service game, taking her to 4.1. So we're now back in around about £250 profit. Now, the important thing to look at now is the pricing. We've got a price of 1.52 on Barty and a price of 2.9 on Kerber. Now, given Barty's starting price was 1.44 and Kerber's starting price was 2.75, we have to ask ourselves, is it worth hanging on in this trade to chase this extra little bit of profit given that Kerber almost just got broken and the market clearly has a lot of confidence in Barty? Now, we would expect, due to the mechanical nature of tennis pricing, that if Kerber did win the second set, then both players would return to close to the pre-match starting prices of 1.44 and 2.75. So we are not actually too far out from this at this current moment. So what I chose to do was to hedge out and take the money 
and run. Now in situations like this, it is just not worth chasing that extra little bit of profit at the risk of losing it all, and in fact, not just losing that profit, but also coming away with a loss overall. Now let's just see what went on to happen in this second set from this point on. So as you can see, Kerber was broken in a fifth service game in the second set, taking the set into a tiebreak and then losing the set and the match in this tiebreak. So had we not hedged out when we did and decided to take the money and run, we would have lost all of this profit and quite likely come away with a loss. So the key message and rule for this strategy is that if a player you are backing in the second set gets a break and pre-match starting prices are met or close to being met, consider taking the money and running. Especially if there's been a change in tempo from the opponent and the market still has confidence in the opponent. Now clearly in this match there was a change in tempo as Barty almost got that break before Kerber held at 4-1. Now this was a clear signal to consider taking the money and running. It is just not worth risking a potential loss just to chase that extra little bit of potential profit. I really hope you enjoyed the video. Please hit like and visit my channel and subscribe for more videos. And if you'd like to begin your journey into tennis trading, then please visit protennistrader.com where you can sign up to my free online video course, An Introduction into Tennis Trading. I'll see you soon.